Okay, if you're ready, let me hear you say yes. How many of you got a good night's sleep last night? Oh, that wasn't quite as many people. Okay, those of you that didn't sleep quite so well, you're just going to have to pump yourself up with extra energy this morning. Okay, we have got so much fabulous stuff lined up for you today. I've got to ask you something. I just need to know this because I've had some people that have been like stopping me as I've been walking down the halls and all that type of thing. So get ready. Everybody that's listening to me, say shh. By the way, you know one of the things I love about being at one of Mark's events? I wish you could be up here and look out at all of you because what I see looking back at me is just vibrating energy. I just see dreams just popping out, just bursting forth. How many of you have gotten some ideas to help you while you've been here? Yes, yes. Okay, here's the thing I want to ask you, and you've got to get ready for this, so get everything off of your lap, if you've got something off of your lap, because if this applies to you, I'm going to ask you in just a second to jump up out of your seat. Okay, here's what I want to know. How many of you have gotten at least one aha uh-huh while you've been here? And if you had an aha, uh-huh, here's what I want you to do. I want you to jump up and go, aha! Uh-huh! Aha! Uh-huh! Ahas are breaking out everywhere. Give yourselves a round of applause. Mark wanted to see this morning if anybody had gotten any ah ahas. Mark, I think there's like a major crop of ah ahas taking place. Well, once again this morning, you are going to be treated to the gift of the vocal stylings of Lynn Rose. On your feet, welcome her to the stage. Woo! Oh, yes. Are you guys ready? This is Mark's favorite song. I request you guys to sing along. can't hear it. Can you start it over? I'm so sorry. I have no idea where we are. Start it over one more time, okay? Because we're going to get really rocking, right? All right, great. And uh, I think if some of you recognize the song, it's simply the best. And it's simply the best you that you can be, right? Woo! I call you.
Have her take another bow. Lynn Rose. Woo! Absolutely phenomenal. Before you leave, you know, I've taught all of you that you got to get pictures with each of us, myself and Deborah and Lynn. But you want to get her signature because we're taking her through the top and doing some stuff that's never been done before. And just real quick. That's just great CDs. Uh, you got a thing for people. Oh, okay. Um, I I thought every tenth person CD is free. So if you happen to be the tenth person, just give the CD away. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe we can give one away right now. Who wants it? <laughs> the most enthusiastic. Yeah. Okay. That's wonderful. Let's give Lynn one more round of applause. Phenomenal job, Lynn. Absolutely phenomenal. I told Mark, I said, man, I'd love to have her come and sing live for me every day just to get me pumped up and going. How about you? If that sounds like a good idea to you, let me hear you say yes. Now, one more thing I need you to do for me. I asked you to do this just a minute ago, but Mark wants this documented on tape about the ahas. So please, get stuff off of your laps. You need to be prepared to jump up one more time. If you have gotten an aha while you have been here, on the count of three, I want you to jump up and say, aha. Here we go. One, two, three. Aha. <laughs> My goodness, Mark, I think that's a fair number of ahas. And I do hope that you'll go out to the product table and take advantage of Lynn's CDs. I think her music is just absolutely phenomenal. And one of the things I so enjoy about what she does is not only is she beautiful on the outside, she's beautiful on the inside. And all you have to do is just look at her and know that that just emanates out from her. I think that's phenomenal. So take advantage of that. Oh, you have got such a lineup today. It is so exciting. Are you guys excited? Good. All right. We're ready to roll. It is my pleasure to bring to the stage your next speaker. Your next speaker is here today to talk to us about selling our knowledge on the Internet. How many of you would like to know how to do that in a really big way? Let me see your hand. Okay. Well, this guy is definitely going to give you a really big way to do it. He is not giving a book report. This is not something he just read about once upon a time and said, hmm, that's a theory that sounds pretty good. I think I'll do that. This is something that he has actually done. He actually sells large amounts of his information on the Internet with very little expense and even less risk. And today, here's the good part. He's going to show you exactly how to do it for yourself. I don't know about you. I appreciate that. I don't want somebody to stand up here and just tell me all the great and wonderful things they've done if they don't bother to tell me how they did it. And you're going to get a lot of how-to from this guy. One of his websites got the highest rating of all the sites in Inc. Magazine's Best of the Web section. And he will be telling you the exact techniques that he used to create his website for only $650. And he competed against websites that had cost millions of dollars. So I don't know about you, but I want to take some notes on that. He is a person who is walking his talk. He sells forty to $50,000 a month in profit over his Internet site, and he's going to show you how to do the same thing. And if you've ever heard of the infamous butt camp seminars, and I asked him ahead of time, I said, what in the world is a butt camp seminar? And he says, well, I teach people how to make money sitting on their butt. Now, I think that sounds like a pretty good thing. So without any further ado, please welcome to the stage Mr. Tom Antion. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Sit down. I want to rock and roll real fast. Listen, does anybody would like to have a $500 website critique? First five people on the stage. First five people. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. We got it. All right. You stand there. You stand over here. You stand over here. You stand over here. Right here. Smile to the crowd. Well, I'm over here. All right. Now, who's number five? You take this. Uh-oh. All right. <laughs> take the end of this. Okay. Give it to her. All right. Take the rest of it and wrap it around her. How much cord do you have? I got 50 feet. We can handle it. Take, wrap it around him. <laughs> wrap it around him. <laughs> wrap it around him. Well, well, wait. Get a 100-footer for this guy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Wrap it around him. All right. You come in the middle there, big boy. Orange is my color, too. <laughs> Orange is his color. You know, one of the, uh, the, the best shows on television is Crime Scene Investigation. You ever see that? Yeah. All right. Well, we're in the middle of a crime scene right now. Oh, and when I, <laughs> yeah, you're the, you're the culprit right now. Okay. Um, so whenever these people read a crime, your part is going to be, I'm going to say, you have just witnessed, and then you're going to say a crime. All right? Let's try that. You have just witnessed. <laughs> Got it. Okay. You're the number one culprit. 
Read the number one crime for today. Can you read that? Get your glasses out. Beautiful. Come prepared. My webmaster sold me. Where are you going? You're leaving the scene of a crime. Get up here. What are you doing? What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. Okay. Thanks for the upstage. <laughs> my webmaster sold me a flash opening from my website because he said it would make my site stand out. You have just witnessed. If you wait, you might as well get a big toilet bowl and put it right there and pour your money into it before you get a flash opening for your website. How many of you sit there and just marvel over the beautiful graphics? Or do you look for the skip button as fast as you possibly can? Is that right? Do not waste your money on that junk. All right, good man. Let's switch around here. Eric, you're in a crime scene now. Switch around with Eric. All right, Eric, number two. I get an offer by email to buy 12 million email addresses from Mark <laughs> of people who want to buy my books. All right. Did you ever see that one? You have just witnessed. If you buy 12 million what they call fresh email addresses and send to them, here's what's going to happen to you. You're going to get your website shut down. You're going to get kicked off your ISP. You're going to get called every rotten name on the face of the earth in every language you can imagine. You're going to get mail bombs, which means they're going to send you the Bible 400 times uh, to try to crash your server. Generally, folks, it's going to be a bad day for you. All right? So don't do that. All right? All right, Eric. Good man. All right. Who's the next crime? Ralph. Yes, sir. It looks like you're enjoying being wrapped up a little bit too much over there, Ralph, I think. Come on in here, Ralph. <laughs> the electric personality. Number three. Okay. A uh, college kid offered to program a custom shop cart for me. You have just witnessed. When you hear the word custom programming, guard your wallet and run as fast as you can out the door. Because as soon as that kid disappears off the face of the earth, which he will, you are going to be stuck with a big mess on your hands. So don't. And when you hear custom programming, please call me because uh, uh, it's, it's going to cost you a fortune and probably very little return and get you in deep trouble later. All right. Good man, Ralph. OK. Now, you. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, we saw you try to weasel out a minute ago. All right. You do number four. Number four. I signed up with a company who will submit my size to 3,000. Search engines. It's it's writing. Search engines for only twenty nine ninety five. You have just witnessed what you'll get if you go for one of those deals, you'll get two thousand nine hundred and ninety pieces of spam email from the worthless search engines that you've submitted to. And the ten that you want to submit to will dump them because they don't like automated submissions. So don't waste your money on that one, all right? All right, now who's number who's the last one here? Victoria, come on in here. Now, your answer to this one is going to be a big crime. All right? All right, number five. Okay, I'm going to haul. No, I'm going to hire. I'm going to hire my brother. In-law. In-law, who works for Intel to design my website. All right, do that one again. I'm going to hire my brother-in-law, who works for Intel, to design my website. Do it one more time. I want to get this one through. Okay, I'm going to hire my brother-in-law, who works for Intel, to design my website. Folks, I keep an air sickness bag next to my phone when I hear this every day. got to clean up messes every day of my life. You have just witnessed... If you do this, I'm telling you what, Intel has 300 people working on their website. Her brother-in-law might be in charge of, like punctuation in the chip division or something, you know, and he doesn't know how to make money for a small business, right? They got enough money to advertise on every bus in America. So you don't. So you can't do it like the big companies do it. All right. Now, everybody here is going to get a, a $500 web critique. Your job afterwards is to take your business card to my lovely assistant, Lori, who's just gabbing with her friend over there. No, <laughs> stand up, Lori. This is Lori, the word sorcerer. Good for copywriting, too. She helps me tremendously. She will be out at the table. You give her your business card. And now, you got to get to know me a little bit. I don't fool around, and I don't put up with any half-baked rounds of applause. So when I ask for the count of three, for me either, but for them, so I want you to give, on the count of three, your colleagues who up here and risk their reputations, while Ralph just came up, 
But <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three. Let's hear it for them. Thank you. All right. All right. I'll take it with you, Alfred. Get it out of my way. All right. Okay, let's rock and roll. Big warning. Big warning. Do not take financial advice from people driving broken down Pintos. All right? This is, and you know what? And I, I have to pick on this gentleman here, who, but he asked for it. We have an affectionate word for these people, propeller heads and techno geeks. And look what happened to show up right here. Lee, stand up <laughs> over there. Get a shot of this guy, will you? Uh, there's no light over there, but uh, this is a propeller head. So I'm going to make you love me before you get done, all right? All right. You've got to be careful. There's more misinformation out here than there's good information on the Internet. Everybody's telling you how much money they make. Well, I'll tell you what. The next time somebody does, see if they'll invite you into their house and let you watch the, the money come in on their email. See if they'll do that. You know what ha- will happen? They'll disappear because they're, most of them are BSing you. I've developed a system uh, called Bed and Butt Camp where you can come into my house and watch and study with, and stay there, actually. So that's the next level butt camp. See? Bed and Butt Camp. <laughs> You're going to love this place. Let me show you a picture of this place. I haven't even moved in here yet, but uh, this is a million-dollar house right there. It's in Virginia Beach. Well, I guess it's over there somewhere. There we go. And uh, it's got a pool, tennis court. It's a gigantic mansion. It's got a 50-seat meeting room where you'll be able to come in and and watch uh, me work, and you'll be able to do Internet tutorials and all kinds of things. And you'll actually be able to watch the orders come in. Now, I got Mark's office doing this. He mentioned the word ka the other day. Well, Lisa got that from me because when she called me to come speak to you, she could barely talk to me because my computer, I have it set so when an email comes in with an order, it lights up red and goes ka-ching. <laughs> and, and so that's how uh, you got that. And it's, I don't know where Lisa is, but she was, she's saying, you know, this is getting annoying, Tom. I'm trying to book you for this thing. I said, get over it, Lisa. <laughs> you'll, you'll like it after a while. So anyway, that's bed and butt camp. Oh, boy. All right. So be careful who you take. Uh, take. Oh, that's Willow. That's my baby Willow. And Willow was uh, one day before the gas chamber when she was calling to me from the front of Freshfields, and we saved her, and she's a healthy little babe now. Oh, isn't that? <laughs> that's Willow. Okay. Now, you've got to watch who you're taking uh, advice from. So the way I started is I went two years with no traffic to my website, and my web host came up and said, you know, Tom, you've only had 400 people come in two years to your website, and you can't make a lot of money this way, (laughs) all right? So that was my two-by-four in the head that I needed to get some credible help. So my first mentor here was a guy named Corey Rudel. He was about 28 years old at the time, bringing $5 million a year on the Internet, and it has four simple websites, and there's not a picture on any of them, all right? So when you, somebody tries to sell you all the fancy stuff, uh, forget it. I mean, just make it so it represents your, you well professionally. Your website should look nice, but all the fancy stuff is worthless compared to the sales process, the psychological sales process. So now Corey uh, is considered the granddaddy of the Internet, the 33-year-old granddaddy. He's pulling $8 million a year, again, with four simple websites. So... When, when you hear me talking, he started me off, and then I started making a load of money. So this is real. This is magic, and you're welcome to look at the orders all day long come into my computer. But you know what I'd rather have happen? I want you to see them coming into your computer. So that's what I'm here for today is to give you the tools. Now, I'm not going to make you an expert today. No way. But I want you to know that there's a big world out there just waiting for your knowledge. Now, I have never gone a traditional publishing route. I'm not patient enough. I had one book. Any pilots in here? You know what the term bottle to throttle means? What's it mean? Okay, you don't do that. Bottle to throttle means, uh, actually, it's eight hours bottle to throttle. And that means you don't take a drink and then go fly within eight hours. That's how it works. Well, I use that term when I talk about a lot of the things that I sell on the Internet. I created one book a couple months ago, uh, and the concept to on sale was eight hours total. All right. That's speed to market. All right. Thank you. Uh, Now, this isn't one of my real deep content books, obviously, (laughs) but it is on sale and bringing in a couple hundred dollars a month. 
very low risk. And what you're going to see out of me is very low risk, massive returns. Okay? So be careful who you take advice for. Now, get your handouts out, please. Uh, turn to your page. Uh, it's in my section. You should have a three-page handout. And at the top, it says electronic marketing, a three-prong attack. There's a little tab there with my name on it. Okay. Now, first of all, I want you to see uh, my work model. Many of you are in the work model of work, get paid, work, get paid, work, get paid. Well, that's not going to get you a whole, uh, a long way, especially if you get sick or if you break your leg or whatever happens, uh, you don't have regular money coming in. So my work model is work, get paid, 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 and paid, 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 paid some more. All right. And if you don't think it's true, right now while I'm talking to you, there's money going into my checking account automatically. All right? So that's the work model. You want to think work, and how's it going to leverage itself over time? Um, then I want you to think a big picture of money, not pretty. When anybody's talking to you about your website, you think money, not pretty. Because I get all the time people saying, well, I want it to match my press kit, and I want it to do all this. Forget it. Just Pay attention to the psychological sales process that we're going to talk about a little later. All right, those are the two principles. Now, I have what I call a three-prong attack on Internet marketing. Prong number one is website development and all that entails. And that includes what the site should look like, how you should lead people to the sale, how you should check them out of the sale with a really powerful shopping system. That's website development, prong one. Prong two Permission-based email marketing. Please say the word permission. <laughs> this is in no way spam. I will never tell you anything that will get you in trouble or hurt your professional reputation. Ralph, those of you that had one. You know. <laughs> so, prong two is permission-based email marketing. All right? Prong three is product development. Now, this is obviously uh, one of those, hey, stupid questions, but how many people in this room have enough information for at least a modest book? There we go. All right. Well, when I hear book, I hear book, ebook, audio tape, videotape, CD, e course, webcast, web seminar, right? Telephone seminar. See, all the ways to sell your knowledge in different formats. And the people always ask me, well, if I do an ebook, won't that hurt the sale of my regular book? No, it won't. In fact, it'll enhance the sale of your regular book. Because if you want to go to a traditional publisher and you can show you just sold 20,000 of them in two months on the Internet, now you're, this 12,000 bucks that Mark told you for the average uh, advance just doubled or, or more than doubled, ten times the amount if you can show a demand for your book. All right? You can do that very quickly on the Internet. So product development is a big part of it, and I'll show you some of the things that I sell. I sell, I probably sold 1,000 e-books in the past couple months. And think about that. No cost of goods sold, no big, and, and I love Dan Pointer. Dan Pointer got me started in publishing a long time ago, and I love that. But, you know, five weeks from the time I finished my manuscript, the books would come up in a big trailer truck in my front door. And that was pretty cool at that time. But now, five minutes after I finish a manuscript, it's on sale around the world. All right? Now, that's pretty cool for now. So we're going to learn how to do that today. Okay, now, let's see. Put somebody on the spot. I see a lady right there, right here. That's you. Stand up, please, and look at the ceiling. Now, folks, you, you're going to get the idea quick. You better listen to me. All right? Please look at the ceiling. What's prong one? Oh, my God. <laughs> no, God is not going to help you, even though you're looking his direction. <laughs> there you go. Website development. What's prong two? Permission-based email marketing. And prong three, is she a happy girl? Because she's two out of three. Product development. All right. You get a web. You see Lori afterwards and you get a website critique. All right. Okay. Let's dig into prong one, folks. <laughs> uh, you got a little help there, huh? Is that, is that what it was? <laughs> help from your friends. Well, all right. Before we even get prong one, I want to tell you... Uh, a few of the other benefits. First of all is the speed to market. I told you eight hours, bottle to throttle. Uh, there's all kinds of things you can do very quickly. In fact, there's a really cool thing that uh, piggybacks off of what Mark uh, said the other day about testing titles. Remember he was testing the title for Bob Allen? Remember that? Everybody raised their hand. They liked that. What was the title that won? I forget. The Last Millionaire. The last millionaire. Okay, I'm going to give you an even better way and a faster way to test the title. 
Now, a lot of people hate pop-up boxes, but I'm going to show you today that used judiciously, they can really help your business. So you make a pop-up box <clears throat> that has four different titles in it. Each one of them has a different tracking link on it. And when somebody clicks on it, of course, the pop-up box dis disappears. So that shows you which one got the most people to click. But guess what? That is not the answer because the people that click the most on one of those titles may be tire kickers that wouldn't spend a nickel on anything, all right? But if you have a tracking link that also tracks them all the way through your website, a, one of the titles that gets less clicks may get more buyers, okay? So you can't always go on which sounds like the best title because more people liked it because they may not be the buyers, all right? So that's, a, that's just a little tip on ways you can use pop-up boxes to test your titles. Okay, so but that's a fast way, too. You can do that in a couple days. And, you know, how many times do you get in front of 600 people to ask them? You know, not that often. So you can test on the Internet very quickly. Okay, another thing is low cost, no cost, and low risk. This is one of the benefits. Now, let me ask you, uh, I can't go out of the lights here, so let's go over here to this gentleman right here. What's your name, sir? Clive. Clive, Clive could you get excited spending maybe two or three hours writing about seven emails, and at the end of that week, having 7000 bucks in your checking account? I thought you could. All right. Let me tell you about this. Low cost, massive return. You write an e-course, just emails, all right? And this, in this occasion, you give it away for free, and it's all automated. Now, for you to understand this, I must get us all on the same page. The, an autoresponder, you're using a thing called an autoresponder. Now, a plain autoresponder means that somebody sends an email to your website, it's intercepted, and the response is given back. So if somebody wants to know how, uh, how much it costs to advertise in my great speaking e-zine, they send an email to sponsor at antion.com. Antion.com accepts it, sends it back, and gives them the information while I'm talking to you. That's a basic autoresponder. Now, to do an e-course, you use a more advanced thing called a sequential autoresponder sequential autoresponder, which gives them the first response, but then it follows up again and again and again in whatever interval you set. All right? Now, so here's how this worked. I wrote a free e-course. Some of you in here have probably taken it called the seven-day mini course on electronic marketing. So each day for seven days, you would get an email from me, all automated, that was not a big sales letter. It was an educational uh, tool that really helped you. And in the sales letter, or I'm sorry, in the tool was some sales copy to buy my videos and audios and things like that. So help me with the math here. 1,200 people signed up for this the first day, and they each got seven emails. So how many emails went out the first week? 1,200 times seven. 8,400 in the first week went out. By the end of the first week, Clive, they had bought $7,000 of my multimedia CD because I helped educate them and prove to them what they didn't know and what they needed to know, and I'm the answer to it, see? So that's called a sequential autoresponder and a free e-course. Now, you can charge for e-course. Anybody ever hear Joe Vitale? Yeah. Mr. Fire. He charges 1500 bucks for an e-course, and he doesn't even talk to anybody on the phone. You get, uh, and this is like one per week for five weeks or something. Oh, we're being attacked by flying. Did you see that? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> I just came from Australia, and they got a lot of kind of things down there that zoom at you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So Joe Vitale charges um, $1,500. You get automated courses once a week, and then he critiques your homework via email. So this is all available to you right now and with almost no cost, all right, because you can do the email cheap. You just get the autoresponder company. Now, Clive, how much do you think it cost me when I first did this to send out those 8,400 emails to get – I hired a company to do it for me. What do you think? A few hundred dollars maybe. A few hundred dollars maybe. It was $15 a month, and in the first week returned 7000 all right? That well, that company is called aweber.com. Now, if you only want to do just one of those to try it out, that's a simple place to go to do it. You can be up and running tonight if you go home and get it on your computer. Now, I happen to uh, 
uh, the shopping system I'm going to tell you about in a little later has unlimited numbers of autoresponders, so you don't have to pay $15 each if, you are, uh, if you're going to do lots of these things. All right, but anyway, low cost, massive return. Next thing, uh, massive distribution. Mark is like this, but Mark's a super-duper celebrity. When he goes to our uh, National Speakers Association convention, he can't walk down the hall. He's got to hide if he wants to get somewhere because uh, people stop and talk to him. Well, I've received that status, too, not because I sold uh, umpteen million books, but because of my email marketing. Everybody in the speaking industry knows me. All right? And what this does is when you're well-known, people, your, your consulting rises, your speaking fee doubles, triples, quadruples. And I'm not much better of a speaker than I was a couple years ago. I'll admit that. But I'm better known. So I get much more money for it. All right? So to get known is important. And email marketing, permission-based, can make you known around the world. My email magazine goes to 80 countries, and we sell things in 40 countries. All right, right from my small office at home. So this is a way to massively distribute your name and your products and services. Okay, um, next one, minimum skill required. It takes a little bit of skill to update a website, and that's a big part of my system. You need to be able to update your website yourself. But the email marketing is very, very simple. You get a list management company, you learn how to format it, and boom, it's out of there in a few button pushes. So not a lot of skill. Now I want you to write in another one. Uh, called Clout and JV. Clout, C-L-O-U-T, and JV. I didn't realize this benefit until I got going for a little while, maybe after a year or so. When I started building my email list up to 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, now it's 118,000, people started to make deals with me. All right? People started to come out of the woodwork to make deals with me because they wanted access to that group of tightly niche people that were interested in public speaking. So this is when uh, people like Mark here and me, uh, Dottie, at the, uh, Dottie Walters out at the uh, exhibition out here is, uh, started me speaking. And I've known her for years, but now I'm headlining her thing after Mark because I'm well known. All right? I got the cover of her. Mark talked about covers. There's the cover, the current cover of the magazine. All right? So these things can happen to you. Uh, another thing, uh, some two NSA luminaries, NSA is National Speakers Association, for those of you who don't know, Bill Brooks and Jim Cathcart asked me to partner with them on a professionalspeaker.com, which you all should know about if you want to speak to promote your books. So when you get a big email list built up on a niche market, people will come to you with deals that you would not believe. And I wish Bob Allen was here because I was ready to brag like crazy in front of him. This deal, would, this deal on the new bed and butt camp, all right? I never had dreamed this kind of thing could happen. But the people... Uh, they knew me, and they're butt camp graduates, and they wanted to be in my mentee program. And the wife said, when we're selling this house, we want Tom to have this house. Purchase price, 875000 Appraised value, he would love this, $1.15 million. I made 275000 on the deal because they wanted me to have the house and wanted a, a, a quick no realtor, anything. So people make deals with you they probably shouldn't make just because they want to be around you, all right? So <laughs> it's okay with me, all right? Yeah, so, there's a, so that's a almost $300,000 profit just because you're well-known, all right? So this stuff happens. It happens for real. Okay, let's move on to prong one. Great website. A great website has targeted traffic that's buying what you're selling doesn't matter how much it costs. A lousy website is one that does not have targeted traffic and they don't buy what you're selling. That's very simple. There's no big comp. I don't complicate anything, really, because I don't know how to. To be honest with you, I had an 11th grader build all my computers in my house and network them all together, and he sits back there behind me and tells me what an idiot I am because it takes me eight keystrokes to do what he can do in two. All right? So I'm not technical at all. All I want to know is where to click to make money. That's all I care about. You know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, the, that's the bottom line for us, right? We don't want to know. I don't, there you go. That's why people like me, because I don't snow them because I can't. I don't know anything. I don't want to know. You can always get propeller heads, right? <laughs> to do that stuff, right? There we go. He's happy. Send him all the business. And, and what I have to tell you about the propeller heads is in, in <laughs> and the techno geeks, I don't want to, you know, but same, is if they were really good at making lots of money on the internet, would they be working for you? 
All right? Uh, no, they wouldn't. All right? So you have to manage the situation. All right? So. <laughs> oh, all right. Is that logical? I, I don't. So you have to manage it. You have to get the baseline of knowledge, credible knowledge, so that you can decide if you want to get your fingers dirty to work on your websites or not. But that way you won't get taken. I can't stand it because I really do have air sickness bags. I collect them and keep them, this whole stack of them by my phone. By the end of the day, they're down, and I've got to go flying somewhere to get some more. All right? Because I've got to clean up messes for people all day long. All right? Um, okay. You can do this. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to show you. Let's do a video here. This is a Butt Camp CD. This is a multimedia CD that was made in three days with no technical experience. And a guy that was in butt camp just about passed out and died on the floor because I made this for a couple hundred dollars worth of software. Three days, no experience. His CD cost $37,000 for multimedia, some a bunch of propeller heads. I uh, got the money, and mine's better than his, and so now he does it my way. So you're going to see uh, the result of this. So we're going to show you a little thing about websites, and if you don't believe you can do this, I think you will have to see this. You'll get sick of that noise after a while here. Okay, this is called You Can Do It. And uh, if you can't see, move up fast. Move up closer. But don't worry about detail. Okay, Just watch the big one. here to show you today how easy it is to update your website if you choose to do it yourself. Now, I used to promote people to try to get them to do everything themselves, but a lot of people are afraid to do that. So I've kind of backed off of that. And... The next best thing can is we pull the you lights can down a little bit yourself. So that means you get somebody to Better. create a basic design and web page for you and maybe a couple sub pages, but then you learn how to update them. And I can tell you that will save you thousands of that, uh, dollars, not only in money, but in frustration doing it yourself. And let me show you how easy it is right now. Now, this is uh, the front page, Microsoft front page, and this is the, called the editor, the editing screen. And this is my home page. So if we would like to put another page on this site, let's say we wrote an article or did something, we would go up to File, click File, and then click New. And we want a page, so New Page. Now, it's thinking a little bit because I'm working live on the Internet right now. Um, right, has anybody lost yet? File, New Page. All right, do you think you can handle that? That's only fifty to three hundred dollars a page when you go to a, a propeller head. All right, this is Microsoft front page, and again, you're going to get resistance when you go to and to tell somebody about this. They're going to say, "Ooh, the code isn't pure." Well, guess what? I make, make twenty thousand dollars a month in the time that they're telling me that this is not good. All right, so what do you think? All right, there you go. <laughs> He'd rather not be good. All right. <laughs> I'm not going to save any of this. Now, it comes uh, up with a dialog box that gives us a lot of templates on different kinds of pages. We could have a guest book or a frequently asked question page where it just starts it all out for you. We're just going to have a plain page, normal page, and go down here and click on OK. And there we go with just a blank page. Now, you notice the last page had buttons on it. Well, gee, I'd hate to have to create those every time I, I make a new page, but you don't have to. You go up to Format, and this is called a shared border, where the buttons were, shared borders. And on the current page, I want a left hand. That's where the buttons were. And then you didn't see it, but there was also a bottom shared border where there's text links and contact information. So I had a left and a bottom shared border, so I click OK. And bam, there they are, right there. I don't have to create them every time. So I don't think anybody bucks. out there could do that pretty easily. Now, let's say we wanted to put a photo on the site. Well, you just go to the Insert menu. We're inserting a picture, and it says from clip art or from a file. Well, we'll pick from a file, and we go down here. To browse, it says select a file on your computer. So I click that, and I happen to have some photos on the A drive, so I'll click on this one. Have a little fun with this one. Click OK, and there it is. There's little Tommy at five years old with his little uh, alfalfa lick there. 
Now, if you wanted to move this photo around, you could click on it, and you could center it, or you could right justify it, or move it back to the left, wherever you want. Now, let's say you wanted to add some text to this page. So let's, I'm going to type click here. I'm going to get a new keyboard one of these days. To see why Tommy is a good boy. All right. So there, it's easy to type text in, and you can move it all around the page. But let's, uh, the next thing that people always want to do is be able to make a link or a hyperlink. So all you have to do is highlight where you want the link. We'll highlight this text, and then go back to the insert hyperlink. And a dialog box comes up. And you could put any website on the face of the earth right here, or we could just uh, hook to another page in the site somewhere. So let's just hook to the butt camp, and it pops it right in the box for us. And then we hit OK. And now we have a hyperlink that if we clicked on it, it would take us wherever we wanted to go. So it's pretty easy to do the things to keep your website updated. And it's very frustrating to get an idea and then have to say, wait till you can get a hold of your web designer and then try to convey the idea to them, and then wait till it gets up there, and then there's typos, and it's not what you wanted, and then wait again to get back, and wait again till they fix it. It's a nightmare. If I have an idea, within a few minutes, it's out to a worldwide market. You can do this. This is Microsoft Front Page. It's a very common program. If you decide you're going to have somebody do this, have them do it in the same program that you're going to work in, which will make it easier on everybody. So anyway, you can do this. Anybody out there can't do this? The singer lady put her hand up. <laughs> what? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, they don't have front page for Macs anymore, but Dreamweaver or something else. The bottom line is, is you cannot be strangleholded. Am I on back there, folks? No, you're not. All right. They gave me a new mic. <laughs> the one I had was good. There. Yeah, that's better. Is that better? <laughs> that's how you fix them. That's a lot of experience, folks, that this, you just saw there. you got to work up to that point. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so the, the bottom line is, is use some well-supported program. Dreamweaver or p front page is fine. But all, uh, this is the skill set you need to, to do this. You need to be add a page, add the buttons and navigation from the previous page, add a graphic, add text, and add a hyperlink. That's all I could do for the first two years and got me up to $20,000 a month. All right? So you can do this. What this allows you to do is make more websites and have greater presence and have hundreds and hundreds of pages up there because it costs you nothing once you get the basic program and the skill. You know how long the skill takes to do that? About two hours of uh, tutoring to do this. Now, if that's not worth an investment, a in uh, two-hour investment, I don't know what is because that makes I have my websites would conservatively have cost a half a million dollars if I'd have had to pay web designers, and it would have been $10 million worth of frustration doing it, see? So I can, I can literally take this laptop up to my room. Well, I take that back because I'm the only room in the whole hotel that the Internet doesn't work. By the way. So, but I, could, I went down to the next room, and I could put a web page up. <laughs> you know, I'm on a phone at quarter after 12. Buddy, I've got to speak at 8.30 on the Internet. I've got 405 emails that are going to have to be checked. So they gave me a key to a room down the hall. Uh, but, you know, it just looked bad in my underwear carrying a laptop down the hall. I was hoping none of you got scared or heard about that. So, anyway, I can go up to my room, make a web page to promote something. I can make a little email to, to send it out to those 118,000 people, and within 20 minutes, money is coming into my checking account. All right. That's the kind of speed we're talking about. And if you can make a web page or just update it, I don't want you to make your website yourself because it will look homemade. Get a professional to make the basic design and the structure, but you learn how to update it, and your world will rock, I can tell you, just with that little bit of skill. All right. Okay, now, the biggest mistake people come, uh, come to me with, and this is another air sickness bag thing. And I'll tell you what, these are, you ought to see the people on the planes when I'm going seat to seat grabbing air sickness bags. You know, they think this guy is really sick. <laughs> They're getting ready to jump out of them. But people call me up and say, Tom, I'm updating my website. And I just, I have to just blow for a little while. And then I come back and say, 
you know, because what's happening, what they're doing is, is they're taking a non-performing website and spending a lot of money to make a different looking non-performing website. All right. So if that makes you happy, great. Throw your money down the toilet that's sitting in this virtual toilet that's right down here. All right. So I'm going to show you a video on how to pick the words that people type in to find your product or service. They're way more important than the look of your website. And besides Mark Victor Hansen, there's nobody in here that their name is big enough to be a keyword. So you don't plaster your name in all these important places. You use the words that people would type in to find your product or service. And I'm going to show you a really powerful tool, totally free. This is the first piece of homework any of my mentees get. I, they spend a couple days on this. Because when you find this list of words that people are typing in all around the world, this is what brings your new business to you. People that never heard of you can find you because you know what they're typing in at 4 o'clock in the morning in Singapore. All right, let's watch this little video. When you hear the instructions on how to find this tool, write it down carefully. I just threw that in for you. Okay. This is called the search term tool. Okay, here we are at Overture.com, formerly known as GoTo.com. This is a pay-per-click search engine. The reason we're here is because I want to show you a, one of the most powerful tools on the Internet called the search term tool. They move it around frequently, but for right now, you can find it at Advertiser Center. Then click on Tools. Then Term Suggestion Tool. I'll move it here in the middle so we can see it a little better. This is a very powerful tool that can really do a lot for your business. Let's take a, a popular speaking term like uh, leadership. Let's type that in there and see what happens. Well, what this is telling me is, is that the term leadership was typed in to this search engine 32,821 times in the last 30 days, quite a bit. But look at all these other ways that leadership was typed in to the search engine. 6,739 times leadership style. 5,663 educational leadership. 5,342 leadership skill. Actually, they leave off the plural, so that's skills. It goes on and on, all the way down to uh, 210 times for principal-centered leadership. The way you use this is you find out what keywords apply to your business, put them in here, and then see all the different ways that people are typing them in and how many times they are typing it in. This tells you how, how many people are in your target market. This is just on one search engine and its affiliates. There's actually lots more places that people could type these words in, but this gives you a relative idea of how popular they are. Now, the way you use these other ways, for instance, leadership theory. You would make a page in your website, maybe write an article, and use the term leadership theory in various places on that web page that you would learn in another one of these videos of where to put them in the title bar and all the, in the text and behind the scenes and so forth. Then when some these 1,704 people type that term in, you have a chance of your page popping right up. And the further down the list you go to the less popular words, the easier it is to get a number one ranking in the search engine because people aren't concentrating on these uh, ones as much. So you can Okay, a little tip for you. When you get one of these lists up, you can drag your mouse over it and highlight it and cut it and put it into your word processor so that you'll eventually end up with a really big list of words that apply to what you do. Now, if, uh, because you want to eliminate some. For instance, if you put training in there, well, you'll get potty training and dog training and all this other stuff. You know? Not that some audiences don't need a little potty training, but you, know, you probably don't want to concentrate on that. Uh, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, copy it and get a big list of words, uh, and that's going to be your basis for your whole business on the web. So that that's the words that people type. And what we do is we make articles and embed those words in it. Now, that takes a little more training to find out where to put the words, but if you just start writing a bunch of little mini articles, two paragraphs, three, four paragraphs, and start using particular keywords in the article, that's your first step. And this is how I got best of the Web and Ink magazine. I have a site called public-speaking.org, public-speaking.org. 
terrible domain name if you had to remember it. But it's number one in Yahoo. It's number one or two in Google and Alta Vista because it's got about 120 pages all based around a keyword public speaking. See? And I put them up there all myself in a three-day weekend. And here's my model again. I took this hard three-day weekend and I worked. And I got paid, 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 paid because it went from zero to 70,000 page views a, a month within three months. All right? And this brings in easy subscribers, and it brings in people to buy my big speaking system. All right? So this is your basic and for you to start. You're all writers. You can knock these articles out in no time. In fact, I just took excerpts from my Wake Em Up Presentation Skills book and broke them down into little mini articles. All right, so that's your first homework assignment. Find your keywords and then make articles based around those keywords that are going to go up on your website. And when you can do that yourself, it costs you nothing to put these websites, these pages up. Okay? All right, let's continue with this. You can start from the bottom of the list, work your way up making pages in your website based around these terms, and grab tons of all this traffic. This adds up to thousands and thousands and thousands of people per month. So this is how I get lots of traffic to my site. I find out the ways people are typing them in, and then I create pages to catch the search engine traffic under those terms and send them, get them into my website. Now, here's another way this can save you a lot of trouble. I had a, a guy come to me one time. He said, Tom, I want you to develop me a website based on the term value-added selling. Oh, that's the buzzword. Oh, I, oh, yeah, it's a hot thing. And I want to dominate on that keyword. I went to this search engine. I typed in value-added selling, and I hit go. You There's see no those? suggestions. Not one person in the past 30 days, even to this day, and this happened two years ago, typed in value-added selling. They're typing in all the typical stuff, sales training, sales management, all that stuff. So you've got to be use this kind of tool and be careful what keywords you concentrate on because nobody might be using them. Sure, you can dominate on them, but if nobody's typing them, big deal. So this is a very powerful tool. It's called the Search Term Suggestion Tool at Overture.com. Use it before you do anything else on your website. All right. Now, I know you didn't. Hey. Yeah. I got a million of them. Yes, ma'am. Now, we've got to yell it out. I tell you what. You migrate over, and we're going to do it right this time. There's two microphones right there so we can get a good uh, get your question on tape. And I'll be telling them this other thing while we're at it. Okay. Uh, this, this search term tool, I, uh, you probably didn't catch where to find it. You go to overture.com. Then you go to Advertiser Center, overture.com, click on Advertiser Center, click on Tools, and then click on Search Term Tool. Now, another way to find it, because they move it around once in a while, is to type in Overture Search Term Tool in, in a search engine, like Google, and it'll go right to it. Yes, ma'am. I guess that didn't help, did it? <laughs> How about... Putting that mic on there, guys. Uh, they're going to come up and adjust that. So, yeah, we'll help you here. Uh, let's do a time check because uh, I got 9.38, and this thing up here says 10.06. So what is it? Mine's right? Okay, good. There's my buddy. Okay. All right. So, anyway, you got to use any questions on the search term tool while we're uh, helping this lady out? Oh, Overture.com, Advertiser Center, Tools, Search Term Tool. Yell it out, bud. Okay. He says, if you're writing articles and embedding um, keywords, how do you direct them to your homepage? You don't necessarily want to direct them to their homepage. I hear this all the time. You don't want people to go to your homepage when you suck them in on some very specific thing. Let's say you did sales and customer service. So you have a page on sales uh, that catches them in the search engine. It's a little article. Well, you would send them not to your home page. You'd send them to the sales program or your sales book description. Why make them go to the home page and search around for the sales? If you do a customer service uh, page that catches somebody in the, in the search engine, you send them to your customer service book. You forget the home page. You, you beat the system already. You've got high ranking with this page in a search engine. So send them, you can send them with a hyperlink anywhere you want. All right, are we ready here? 
<laughs> Come on up here. <laughs> Okay, she's talking about some behind-the-scenes stuff called a meta tag. And yes, you can put a number of different keywords in there, but this particular method, we're going to uh, make one page based on one keyword. And we're going to uh, put that keyword all over the page and hide it all over different places. Well, meta tag is only one little slice of the pie. This is what a propeller head that doesn't always do and is going to sell you. All right, because there's plenty of places. There's actually 20 places on a web page you can hide keywords. Some of them are in the graphics. Some of them are in, in the text. You keep them high on the page because when search engines come looking for you, they come from the top of the page down. So when my pages that are important, I have text and little keywords above the graphics so that the, the search engine hits them, see? So a lot of places to hide them. All right? So I had one other question that okay. I asked somebody else. Um, I have some explicit material that's not pornography, and I'm wondering. It's trouble, yeah. It's definitely trouble. <laughs> that's right. It's not trouble on a web page. Uh, what, what she's talking about is uh, she may have words in, and this is a very interesting concept. And talk about literacy, Mark. We got a, the librarians. Now, the librarians, can you believe this, are railing against censorship. They don't want... There, or the nanny, you know the nanny uh, things that so you can't go to certain web pages? Right. The, the librarians do not want that in the library because take the term breast cancer. You can't that's, go to, that's exactly it. That's the thing. Thank you, you can't go uh, and find breast cancer in a library because the, to get their funding, they're forced to uh, put these nanny things on there. AIDS, condoms, any of those things uh, get filtered. Now, on a web page, for you, is no problem. But where your problem comes, ma'am, is when you're emailing something with those words in it. So you've got to find other ways to say things that don't have the explicit words, or you're going to knock out 70% of your traffic. So it would be something to talk about at the break or something. All right, next question. And then we're going to have to move. Um, I was interested in your process in picking the keywords, because the leadership for Ghostwriter I've been putting things like publish a book, write a book, ghostwriter. Those are all good. And what you would do is put them in the top part of that tool and then see what other ways people are typing those terms in. So you have to start it off with something somewhat related, and it'll give you all the different ways people are typing it. So but you're going to have to do a little brainstorming. I was really interested because you came up with leadership for speaking, which is not to me wasn't an obvious one. How, can you talk a little bit about, about how you get your... Process your process on that. Well, basically, I just brainstorm and I, I look at other people's websites. There's a cool way to uh, see what they're using as keywords by pulling up some of your competition's websites and clicking on View Source, and you can go pick. And, and somebody else, they probably paid somebody to do the work for them, and you can get the research for free on your competition's websites. Good Thanks. deal. Yeah. Okay. Anybody can do that on just about any website. Okay, let's keep moving here. We're on website sales process still, uh, or a great website. So you've got keywords. We're going to jump to uh, the last bullet called pay-per-click. I want you to understand what that is. Pay-per-click is actually what Overture's website is all about. You can actually bid on your keyword, and if you're willing to bid higher than the next person, your site comes up higher. So if I bid on public speaking, let's say 50 cents, and what is it, Ast Astrid? Uh, Astrid bids 60 cents. Her site will come up above mine. Oh, wow. oh, isn't that amazing? I love it when a tongue starts hitting the tables, you know. Uh, she's going, oh, wow. Yeah, this is called pay-per-click. Now, this is not a save-all, but this is a way you can do a lot of things quickly on the Internet. And what happens is, is you don't pay Astrid unless somebody clicks pay-per-click. Okay? So if they click... Then they come to your site. Now, this can be a good thing or a bad thing because you can blow a lot of money doing this. So if you're going to use pay-per-click, here's your million-dollar tip. You write the description of your site to disqualify the person. You want to write it so that you do everything under the sun to get them to keep, not to click. And if they do click, it's a good prospect. Here's an example. If I'm writing an e-book... That's, that's I'm going to charge somebody for. I don't want all the tire kickers that are looking for freebies coming and click it. So what I do is I write quality ebook, and I might even put the price and the words secure ordering. 
just anything to hit them in the face that this is not a freebie site. Because if they come there and don't buy, then I paid for that click. So you want to disqualify people. But it's a quick way to test things. So if you write uh, an advertisement for one of your products, you can go to the pay-per-click sites. Google and Overture are the biggies. All right? there's, a, there's 200 of them, but most of them are worthless. These are the two biggies. And within the same day, you can test your page. You can say, I'm willing to risk 50 bucks to, to get a, a number of clicks there, and I'll see how many people buy. And that will tell you if that sales page is making money for you or not. All right? Now, don't worry about... Uh, running a bill up out, out, of the, out of sight because what happens is, is you tell them how much money you're willing to put up and when the money runs out, you disappear. All right? Kind of like a lot of the relationships I've been in. You know? You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> your money runs out, she disappears. You know, that's the way it works. Um, so <laughs> and you don't, also don't have to worry about people running your bill up because if they click, 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 your competition, it checks their IP address. You don't have to worry about that, but it, it cuts them out after one click. So you, it's a really good way to do things. But uh, it's not a save-all. Now, to show you a site that costs, uh, I think it, the whole thing costs less than 300 bucks and uh, brings in uh, three of these sites, less than $1,000, brings in $90,000 a year, Mark. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mark actually accidentally said one time 90000 a week, and people were calling me from around the world. Yes, <laughs> come do this. But next week, we're going to do a $90,000 a week. Uh, we're doing a, a book together, Instant Phone Money, based on my experience doing telephone seminars. So we're working on that, and it'll, uh, we'll announce it to you when it comes out. But let's uh, take a peek at this video on one-page website techniques. And if this doesn't give you hope, I think, uh, I don't know, I can't help you after this, because this is just cheap and easy. Okay, one page. There we go. Did I hit it? No. Nope. Willow's still up there. There we go. Well, this is my latest project, folks, that I'm so proud of. I've come up with a method to make one-page websites that are very, very profitable right off the bat, selling digital products. Now, this is how it works. You identify very tightly niched topics. In this case, I identified the topic wedding toasts. And the way I identified and chose this as a topic was because I found that the term wedding toasts gets searched upon about 40,000 times in one month on one major search engine. All right, how did I figure that out? Overture. See how it all ties together? Then I also determined that if you were going to use a pay-per-click search engine, that the clicks on this very tightly niche topic are only about 9 or 10 cents at the time of this recording. So what that does is give me a, a, high, a highly sought-after product that costs very little to advertise. So for 9 or 10 cents, I can be up in the top of this search engine. Now, this one-page site was created extremely inexpensively. This wedding template for a web page was $15. The book that I'm selling on the site I got at, by hiring a writer at Elance. That's freelance, but it's on the Internet. It's Elance. So the book that I'm selling on this site cost $275, along with the sales letter. I tweaked the book and the sales letter a little bit to make it better. And then this is just a box. <laughs> it's, a, it's a template with a box under it that makes this site, the whole site. That's it. Down at the bottom, I connected it to my shopping system. So they click here. They go. They buy the digital product. It's a $17 book and download it themselves. Now, hosting this site, for me, is only about 75 cents per month because I have, I've bought 200 of these kinds of websites, and so I got what we call a dedicated server. All just my sites are on it, and I bought it, or, or leased it is what you do, just to hold these one-pagers. Now, if you, you've seen on another video an exit strategy. Let's say someone decides they uh, they just don't want to spend the money on, on this book. It's a little bit too much for, for an e-book for them. So they decide to leave. 
They hit their back button. Bam. Pop-up box. Tom is crazy. And uh, most people out there that know me would, uh, would agree with that. We told him not to do this, but he wouldn't listen. And then I go on about how I'm not married. How should I know how much it should cost? Let them pick their price. And so I put uh, links here for different prices for the book. And of course, most people that take advantage of this click the 9.95. But so far, in the first three weeks, two people have picked the 14.95. <laughs> so these must be incredibly fair people to do such a thing. And I thank them from the bottom of my heart. So. This is a, a, a really inexpensive way to, to get some money coming in real quick on the Internet by identifying these topics. Now, I have a white paper on this that's available that will... T okay, those, uh, there's three of these sites, and all three of them together cost less than 1000 bucks and gross 90000 a year. They're going to pay for this new million-dollar house, all right? So... When somebody tells you that all the Internet, and in fact, I, I'm on major media all the time, and they're always asking me, well, how can you say that the Internet's good when all these dot bombs are, happen? And I heard a guy on CNET radio just the other day saying that digital products are not happening. It's just don't worry, waste your time and money. Well, guess what? Me and my buddies are making millions doing this, so I don't know what he's talking about. He's talking about maybe big businesses and Stephen King going uh, fiction and wide, where we're going to, what would you say about the niche the other day? Tightly niched informational products. Uh, people are lining up to buy them, folks. In uh, 2002, there was 16 million people in the USA alone buying content on the Internet, digital content. By 2004, in the U.S., that's going to 30 million. They're lining up to buy what you got in your head. And if you don't get it, I feel sorry for you because they're waiting to buy it. Yes? Do you sell everything No, I have uh, plenty of uh, hard copy products, and you're going to find that uh, later. <laughs> In about 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, the question is, is, and don't forget the microphones that we, uh, we worked on here. The uh, question is, do I only sell digital products? The answer is no. If you're going to uh, be authors and speak, people want to carry stuff home by the pound. So you got to have, uh, you know, you got to have stuff to give them. Um, and so this is what I'll tell you about a little later when we get into product creation. Um, and how do they pay? They, this is the beauty. This is like, uh, who's that guy, that Russian guy? I love this country, you know. Uh, yeah, what, I forget his name. But what, they go to the shopping cart. They, they take their wallet out. They put their credit card number in. And the... Uh, the, about 15 seconds later, the money's going to my bank account. This is called online uh, real-time processing. And they download the product to sell. So as we're talking, people are buying these books, and the money's going in my checking account right now. Okay? Now, let's talk about that a little bit further. In that I also have a site that sells the wedding speech book, which isn't exactly the same as a wedding toast book. All right? So when they buy the wedding toast book, this is called upselling. This is called point of purchase upselling. They're offered the wedding speech book if they've purchased the wedding toast book for another $9.95. So that takes it from a $17 sale to a $26.95. Now, these aren't millions of dollars I'm talking about, folks, but this is real stuff coming in all day long, and it adds up. Trust me, it adds up. Now, the best site I have at this one-page site uh, I'm really proud of is instanteulogy.com. <laughs> All right. Instantulogy.com does better than both of these because it's not seasonal. You know? <laughs> you know, and it's really difficult for me nowadays when somebody comes up and says someone has to weigh in their family because I'm trying to look sad, but I'm thinking, <laughs> you know, 17 bucks. <laughs> you know, I want to get my cut out of it, you know? The funeral guys get their cut. I should get a cut. But I'm thinking then... I'm thinking, then, how do I do an upsell? I'm thinking, geez, the wedding book's not good. Uh, what else could I uh, sell them? So this is where I got, what's that? The Grieving Soul will be now. Actually, we should. I'll put a, I'll get, be an affiliate, and we'll put the Grieving Soul in uh, when they buy this. See, see how it works? Joint ventures. See it? Yeah, right. So the book that I have now as an upsell, this is the eight-hour bottle to throttle. I'm thinking, this is selling so much, i got to do an upsell. So I, I wrote the book, 101 Ways to Help Out After the Funeral, you know. And, yeah, and I'm not, you know, I'm a cut-up like here, but on the pop-up box that they get then, 
It's not this kind of demeanor. It's, it's look, I know, uh, you know, this probably got dumped on you. You're probably really upset. So I'll help you any way I can. Just pick your price. So it's a little different demeanor on the pop-up box. All right. I'm still happy as hell that they're doing it, but I don't want to, you know, push it. Uh, all right. Now, let's take that same concept. Let's take that same goofy concept and make a lot of money with it, all right? You're going to see the same exact technique. And what you have witnessed on the, the pop-up boxes is called exit strategy. Smart Internet marketers make money when people are leaving their site. There's lots of ways to do it. This is uh, what you saw there with the pop-up box is only 9 or 10 bucks here or there. But now watch. Same technique called a finance option. <clears throat> okay, here we are at... One of the sale pages for my uh, Wake Em Up Video Professional Speaking System. And let's pretend that you read this whole page and you really got psyched up about buying this product. But then you got down to the price and it was like, oh my goodness, $697. Oh, I really want this, but that's just a little too rich, rich for my blood right now. So you decide to leave. Let's say you click your back button and look what happens. You get a pop-up box that says cash flow a problem. We'll finance the system for you. Just $3.98 down and three easy payments of $99.66 a month. Don't let your speaking dreams slip away. Click here to order now. Well, this is a conversion technique to take people that were leaving your site and take another shot at them. You really don't have much to lose at this point. They were leaving the sales page without purchasing. So why not take a shot at them? It only took 17 viewings of this pop-up box to make a sale, 398 down and three easy payments, which was a total of 700, almost $700. And since in the first couple weeks it was up, it brought in about five or six thousand dollars in sales that would have gone somewhere else and not spent the money if it wasn't for this uh, finance option. Now, the other cool thing about it is, is let's close this box. Yeah, what I was, I'm going to go on just for time, I'll shorten it, is if you click on the buy button, no pop-up box on any of the sites. Because if you're ready to buy, I'm not going to give you the finance option and discount you. See? And they never even, I've not had one in thousands and thousands of sales ever find it or even know about it. Once they click the buy, they're psyched about getting the product and getting on with their life. They don't come back and peruse the sales letter and look for pop-up sneaking up on them, you know? So this is a very powerful technique. And we just have a new product came up right this moment because Mark pulled me over and said our new our next book, after the one we haven't done yet, is uh, Money Making Exit Strategies. So there we go. All right, we got two books while we're standing here. All right, so that's how fast you can do things uh, on the internet. There'll be digital products, damn, they'll go out to a worldwide market in no time once we can focus on it. Okay, now I want to just tell you, I'm not much on cool, flashy kind of things, but I'm going to, uh, many of you, uh, probably should be speaking to sell your books. All right, now we're going to do something in what, October? Uh, probably, I don't, we don't have the dates picked yet, but uh, Mark's going to have a, a, a thing on professional level speaking in November, but, or October, right? Yeah, so you should attend that. Uh, but many of you should be speaking to promote your books because it gives you a big burst of income. So what I'm going to do right now is step out of Mr. Speaker role and step into teaching you as if you were up here what to do to, uh, to promote yourself while you're teaching so that people don't get mad that you're just all self-promotional, all right? So what I'm going to do is show you a really cool thing to have on your website that's very powerful, and it's going to be promoting me at the same time, all right? Now, I don't tell that to an audience that wouldn't be up here speaking, but that's the response is, is people buy way more things and love you more and, and believe in you more by doing a, a technique like this. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an audio testimonial, which is much, and what I want you to be thinking when you watch this testimonial, how much more powerful it is than if you just saw a testimonial written on your website, okay? And I'm only going to show you about 30 seconds of it because I don't want to push my luck here. Uh, but this is one of my mentees, what she had to say. Hi, this is Joan Stewart, also known as the Publicity Hound. I'm a media relations consultant, speaker, and internet marketer 
And I've only been in Tom's mentoring program for about the last three or four months. But in that short time, I've done several things I know I could never have done on my own. For example, in October of 2002, I had a record month at my website and sold more than $6,000 worth of products both at the site and through my affiliate program as a direct result of doing what Tom has taught. Okay, so it goes on for about a minute. But isn't that much more powerful to see a face than a real person with real results? All right, let's go. Let's use the microphone. Um, so this is a, a very simple thing. Cost $125 to have somebody call the person, interview them by phone, and give you this thing as a done deal. I think you have to buy maybe three at a time. Yes, sir. So just a good question about that because we use a lot of testimonials. I did a documentary and we uh -huh. saw the documentary. So we take excerpts of the documentary and, you know, people see it. So for testimonials, we've just written it. So you just have, say on your page, the word testimonial, and there are various testimonials. No, I don't. I don't use the word testimonial. Okay, what do you? It's you know, people. You know, why would they click to just hear how right. great you are? I would say, hear what another mentee has to say. Okay. See, because it's they're thinking about becoming a mentee. So let's hear what one some of the other ones have to say. There's the next book, Mark. Testimonial, <laughs> money-making testimonial. <laughs> Write that down. How many, down. how many different ones do you have? Do you I just have one three mentee? right there okay. uh, because you don't want to get crazy about it. But uh, three, I have a doctor and I have different, in, you know, people from different walks of life, some male, some female. Yes. Uh, you touched briefly on shopping carts. Is Absolutely. there a vendor or a program that you suggest? Yes. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up because I resell one. It's, the, it's every top marketer on the face of the earth. Where's Joel Christopher? Is this, the, is this the cart or is this the cart? Okay. Uh, my, my resale brand of it is called Kickstart Cart. If you get it, you get training from me. So I add value. It's the same price as if you bought it from the mother company. Let me just give you one little tiny idea of how powerful this can be using, let's say, upsells. Everybody here is familiar with Amazon who says, hey, if you bought this book, you, you know, a lot of people bought this book and this book. Well, here's a real life example from not too long ago. I did a telephone seminar on a holiday, so it wasn't a lot of people. 60 people at 30 bucks a head, 1,800 bucks for the hour. Uh, you know, it's not too bad for not shaving, feet up on a garbage can, calling somebody, all right? But when the people came to the shopping cart, boom, pulled their wallet out and said, hey, we want to buy this telephone seminar, the shopping cart says, well, gee, Tom's done lots of teleseminars. In fact, we've listed 11 of them here. Why don't you just pick whatever you want and we'll throw it on your order? Or why not take all of them for 97 bucks and save yourself a couple hundred bucks and we'll ship them right out? 21 people out of 60 went for that upsell, which made it a $3,834 hour instead of an $1,800 hour. 1800 wasn't too shabby, right? But when you can double and triple the value of your promotions having a good shopping cart, this is the way to go. Now, what most of you have, I, I equate to like a dumb cashier at a convenience store. Just sits there with a glazed look on their face and waits till you buy your Slurpee. And maybe you'll get the change right, maybe you won't. <laughs> but this... This is a professional uh, sales force that's out there selling for you over and over and over again. So what I'm going to do to answer your question, sir, is give everybody in here a free, brief ebook to explain what you need to know about shopping cart systems. It's public-speaking.org. Again, I mentioned that earlier. Then forward slash ebook.htm. Public-speaking.org forward slash ebook. Dot htm and that's about a 30 page read it will open your eyes to the power that's in your hands now as a small business owner and it, it had, remember the e-courses i was telling you about unlimited sequential auto responders to send them all out for you for uh, free no extra charge okay so get that at public-speaking.org slash ebook.htm a uh, couple more questions and we got to roll because we got to get to phone two and three yes hi tom my name is tom blake what's your opinion on yahoo store as a uh, okay, uh, Yahoo Store is uh, is designed along with many others to make it too easy for you, and they charge a premium price with very little control, and uh, it's just it's a one of those no-brainer things. But you will not make a lot of money using no-brainer type things. They're just using their name to get a premium uh, amount of money from from you with very little chance of big success by doing it the way we're showing you here today. Yes. Hi, 
Since I can't quite afford a server yet, what do you recommend for web hosting? Well, first of all, you wouldn't want to have a server. Uh, I would get a, a $20 a month host. I use Vario.com for really important uh, sites. And uh, you just don't want the El Cheapo method because uh, they're not as reliable and they don't have the service and the 800 number and all that. So Vario.com is one I use for important stuff, $20 a month. Yes? Yeah, how do you handle fulfillment for physical product and digital delivery? Okay. Uh, digital delivery is all automatic, totally yeah, automatic. Do you, do you use a third-party service like Digital River or no, something? No, heck no. The shopping system does it all that okay. I'm talking about, Kickstart Cart. Third part, and then for fulfillment, I use uh, my, one of my assistants, virtual assistants, keeps a supply at her house and delivers them because I'm not super high volume. I'm super high profit, not volume. And then uh, if you want to take the next level or if you don't have somebody, go to one of the local pack and ship places in your area. Those are mom and pop operations that love to make deals, side deals. They'll keep a stack of your books there and send them out. You just pay whenever they do. Okay, uh, two more questions and we've got to roll. Hi, Connie Banish. I've been trying to figure out whether to uh, subscribe to AWeber, but my concern is basically I'm giving up all of my email addresses to them. They're monitoring my list. That's not a, that's not a concern. Uh, no reputable place would use or do anything with your email addresses. Yes, if you so have like eight reports to give out, they can sort all of them out in terms of... Well, the of thing is, it's going to cost you eight different accounts at AWeber. If you have this super shopping system I'm talking about, you could do 500 different email courses and all the same deal. So if you're doing more than a couple, AWeber doesn't become cost effective anymore. And the super shopper system Yeah, Kickstart Card is the one, yeah. Okay. And Thank if you, you get Kickstart Card, you get a, a three-tape audio album from me that teaches you all these strategies uh, and saves you 20 hours of figuring it out. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. I see a, a lady behind you, and that's the last one, and we got it roll. On your exit strategy, what do you do with the pop-up boxes? I'm sorry? The exit strategy. Yeah. How is the pop-up boxes done? Oh, how are the pop-up boxes done? The cheapest and best program for this is called amazingpopups.com forward slash power. I've tried them all. This is the best one by Jonathan Mizell. Amazingpopups.com forward slash power. It's a no-brainer. You pick if you want entrance, exit, uh, cookie base so it doesn't pop up too many times on the same person. And it teaches you a lot of strategies on how to use them. One more. Hi, Tom. Just real quick. Vario.com. Is it V-A-R? V-E-R-I-O. -E -E Thank yeah, you. That's the one I use for some of my sites. Okay. Let's jump into prong two, um, email list, permission-based uh, e-zines. This is where the big money is, folks. This is a very simple equation. You give some, these are free, by the way, you give somebody good stuff that helps them, and they allow you to market to them. That's the very simple thing that's going on here. Now, you give them too much marketing and not enough good stuff, what happens? They unsubscribe, right? Now, you give them all good stuff and no marketing, what happens? You don't make any money. I'm not Mother Teresa of the Internet. I mean, I want to make money with it. So, so you've got to find that balance, all right, of what's right for your market. I can't, uh, people ask me all the time, well, how long should it be? Well, it depends. So uh, we can talk about that if you want to, if you're going to start one of these. But this is where the big money is, because on the Internet, there's no face-to-face. -face. They don't fall in love with you. You can't shake their hand and let them know that you're credible. So the idea is you must capture their email address, get their permission so that you can follow up with them over and over and over again. I've had people two years later say, Tom, we've been watching you for two years, and now we're going to buy something because, you know, you've given us good information all this time, and we know you're real. All right? So it takes many more impressions uh, than it does face-to-face -to, -face to get a sale. So this is how you, you do it. You capture them. Now, people are asking to get subscribers. Well, if you do a great job on your website, you'll get lots of targeted traffic. But you must plaster the sign-up portion of, for your e-zine every single page of your website, not just the home page. Because if people come through on one of these side pages, they may never get to your home page and never be able to sign up. Also, here's another trick. Use an actual form field. Don't just make it a button on your website because people can skim over these real fast and never leave their email. But if they see a box there, they say, oh, I'm supposed to put something in there. All right. And then what I do is I have a more info button that takes them to a sales page to get them to sign up for my free easing because people are getting bombarded with these things. They want to know there's value. So if you go to my sales page, it gives you two free reports as an incentive to sign up. 
all delivered automatically through my list management company. You do not do this by hand if you're serious about it. And then it has a privacy statement. Now, do you want your million-dollar tip on privacy statements? No? Okay. Well, we'll skip it. <laughs> privacy statement. You do not write a privacy statement that says, we will never sell your email address. If you do, you have just screwed yourself out of maybe millions of dollars because you can't sell the list. People have spent millions to buy a list and got sued and had to burn the whole thing. Because they, the privacy statement. So here's, you're welcome to go to my site and borrow my privacy statement. Uh, I'm not a lawyer, so you get it reviewed if you feel you must. But the idea is, is my privacy statement says, we will not sell your email address unless I sell this part of my company off and we give you two weeks notice to unsubscribe before we release the list. Now you're building a million dollar asset. All right. Is that worth is that? Do we have any ahas today? I forget about this. What do you do? Poke yourself in the eye? Is that when you get an aha? Okay. All right. Oh, propeller head guy even got some. All right. <laughs> can you can you wep that thing a little bit for me? Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. So uh, now let's see how much time we got left. Uh, only about 15 minutes. So uh, I just want to make sure you understand how important this thing is, because I'm not spending a lot of time on it, but this is what has made me a fortune, being able to reach over and over and over again to people uh, so that they believe in me and they eventually buy products and services. All right? Yes? No, the list management company I use is just like AWeber. They would never uh, do anything. That list is only mine, and I back it up to my own computer as a backup. You always have to do that. Yes? I happen to use MindShareDesign.com. Mind, M-I-N-D. What list management company do I use? MindShareDesign. And anybody can email me for quick little questions like this because I want to make sure we, uh, we end on time and we get all the good stuff in for you. Okay. Now, um, what I'd like to do now is show you... Um, I'm going to go out of speaker mode again into speaker trainer mode as if you were speakers because I've uh, worked with some big celebrities and big celebrities sometimes get caught up in the, in the craziness and forget to do this. I've had them go in front of 20,000 people and not come in with the email addresses, not come home. So I'm going to show you how to do this and we're going to do it all once. So would anybody like um, – to have me on their team for a year helping them in a mentor program, all right? This is a $4,000 thing we're talking about here. Okay, well, we're going to have a drawing. And if you participate in a drawing, you can participate or not at, at your leisure. Uh, and if you don't want to get emails from me, just write no zine on there, and I will not put you on any list. But if you do participate, I'm going to put you on professionalspeaker.com and great speaking, uh, and you can get off anytime you want. Is that fair? Or do I have your permission for that? Okay, fill out your uh, uh, business cards and send them into the middle as fast as you can so we get this done. And if I could have, uh, uh, is Lori still here? Lori's probably out at the table. Uh, Some way help out to collect them would be great. Yeah, um, Stephanie is wonderful, and thank you very much, Stephanie. I appreciate it. I forgot to tell them about that. Yeah, pass them all into the middle. Do it as quickly as you can. And I'll take any questions while this little process is happening for the next minute. Okay. <clears throat> question. There is a question on the table about one-page websites and what URL they should use. URL is like the name of the site. Well, I buy up all the ones that have keywords in them to discourage other people from competing with me. But you could just start. Here's a box here. Just dump them right in there. Thank you so much. Uh, going once. Oh, we're still working on it back there. Uh, but you could simply start out with a sub page of your main website for nothing. Just add a page and send the people on pay-per-click directly to that page. Okay? But I buy ones with keywords in the actual domain name, even if it has dashes, because, yeah, yeah, right in there. Okay, going once on the drawing. Going twice. Okay, you know, it cracks me up when people put like books and uh, uh, nine page brochures and thinking I was going to get a little extra. Oh, here we go. 
Uh, there, and there's always ones that want to put it right on the top at the end, <laughs> thinking they're going to get over on me. All right. All right. Let's see. Uh, what you're going to get here, by the way, is a uh, one-year mentor program, which means you're going to have two hours one-on-one -on -one in the beginning to get you started. You're going to have unlimited email consultation, because if you do this, folks, you're going to have questions. I'm giving you the rah-rah up here, but there's little nuances, and you're going to have to get credible training on this. But this will, this will allow you to spread your name, product, and services around the world. So it's worth putting the effort into getting the training on this. You'll get twice a month teleconferences. Uh, if you can't be there on the phone, we put them streaming up on the Internet that night so you can check in. And when you hear all the other mentees talking, and, and they're, you get tremendous ideas. Then you get some free ads in Great Speaking Magazine and a bunch of other perks. So that's what we're pulling for here right now. And again, as going into speaker training mode, I just told you about my mentor program without waiting to the end and hammering you to do stuff, see? All right? You can do these techniques in places that don't allow you to sell. See, they always allow you to give stuff away, but you can create demand for your stuff. Oh, by the way, uh, this, is <laughs> myself. this is a prerequisite to be in the program because I don't want to waste your time telling you all the simple stuff because the time with me will be gone and it won't be the best advantage for you. So you must go through the, the uh, prerequisite program, which is this is about 40 hours worth of training for you to tell you the stuff I've been doing the last four years, day and night, so that you don't have to, to suffer like I did to, uh, to figure it out. All right, that's included with it. Dig down deep. Dig down deep, all right. <laughs> Thanks for the help here, folks. I never did this before. Um, Buzzy Gordon. Come on down. Where's Buzzy? Come on down, Buzzy. Now, wait a minute. Did I Remember I, a long time ago I do not put up with half-baked anything? On three, let's hear it for Buzzy. One, two, three. All right. Let's hear it, Buzzy. All right. Yes. All right, Buzzy. Oh, oh. <laughs> a hugger. Okay, Buzzy. What you're going to do is you're going to stop by and see Lori afterwards and pick up your packet because I'm going to talk a little bit about product development. And then you'll contact me and you'll be a mentee and I'm going to help you for the next year. All right? All right, man. All right. All right. Oh, it'll pick that up at this one. Okay. Okie doke. Now, let's talk about products a little bit, uh, especially ebooks. Let's see, uh, 1019. All right, it was good shape. Um, ebooks. You probably have, if you use Microsoft Word, uh, you probably have everything you need to create ebooks right now. Because the way I create them is in Microsoft Word, and I convert them to Adobe PDF. That's it, period. Boom, done. All right? I don't have any real great technical knowledge about how to do this, but there are some little details. Now, I don't have time to give them to you today, but I am going to give them to you by going to that public-speaking.org. That's a recurring kind of theme. Forward slash holiday gift dot htm. Holiday gift dot htm. This is what uh, I gave a 30 minute streaming audio file to my customer list at Christmas. And so it's all about creating quality ebooks because I don't want to see some of the schlock that I've seen out of some people where it's just a, a dumb PDF file, no color added, no formatting, nothing. You can make a beautiful, impressive ebook for the same price as making a, a junky one. And I don't like junk. What's that? Repeat what? Holidaygift.htm. It's at that same public dash speaking site. That site is on your resource list. Holidaygift.htm. You'll also be able to listen to the Butt Camp Christmas Carol I did. In fact, I'll even, you know, all right, who's the singer lady? What's her name? Yeah, you, you eat your hat after this one, baby. All right? <laughs> all right. Where is this? Uh, let's see. I got it on here somewhere. I got to play a little bit. The Butt Camp Christmas Carol. So you can do all kinds of fun stuff like this. It's just audio. It would be like Willow singing. Ebook selling off my kickstart card. Great speaking going round the globe. Mentees calling when they need a quick start. And I'm here in my bathrobe. Everybody knows that DSL and cable too make the electrons fly so fast. My wake's up 
and my mouse fingers blue, cause I'm mostly sitting on my <laughs> But I know that but camp's on its way. I'll visit many, many cities for a whole day. And all the teenagers that come for free will be used by parents for web design slavery. <laughs> And so I'm offering this goofy tune for speakers from 1 to 92. I'm telling you today that you should run right away and get to a butt camp near you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> uh, this, uh, this, this, this beat's working for a living, doesn't it? What do you think? <laughs> all right. Well, you can do all that kind of stuff right at your desktop nowadays. I use SoundForge. At, you find it at sonicfoundry.com where you can record right into your computer. You can put it out in MP3 format so people can take it on the road. You can put it up as streaming with a little bit of training. Folks, everything takes a little bit of training. You don't have to know to be a sound engineer to do these things, but a little bit of training can allow you to do these. What's that? Uh, Mac ha probably has a similar program for Mac uh, because Macs are great for audio uh, visual kinds of things. So I don't know what it's called. Okay, uh, so you can do that. Ebooks, e-courses I told you about. Uh, telephone seminars are great. Viral marketing. Uh, this is a, see, a virus on your computer is bad, but viral marketing is very, very good. Uh, Mark talked about Seth Godin the other day, and he's got the, the most downloaded book ever called The Idea of Virus. Well, I'm going to tell you an exact way that you can do this, and I'll use an example of my own to show you how you can create viral uh, things. Please do. As long as I get my time. <laughs> um, I interviewed you this morning, and we're doing, I'm doing a uh, video called How to Graduate College Debt-Free. How many of you got kids? How many want to make sure the kids get to pay their own way through college? I interviewed you about what? About the, uh, the real estate I bought this morning uh, yeah, when yeah, I was in tell, college. Tell them real quick. Well, it before I graduated from college, I owned five, hotel, I'm sorry, five apartment buildings and a hotel starting with nothing. Hotel? 36-room hotel. <laughs> and you graduated college broke or a millionaire? I was very wealthy when I graduated. graduated. That's why I never had a job since. See, as far, Tom and I think it's despicable that smart kids all work as honorable and got dignity, but why should you wash dishes? If you're smart enough to go on to school and get a BA and then an MA and then a PhD and you're washing dishes, it's dysfunctional in, in use of mind. And, and what we want to do is make sure... Like in Singapore, where we both worked a lot, 98% of the kids graduate college. In America, less than 8% graduate college. We think on a go-forward basis, this isn't going to work. That's why I've said to you, the only way we're going to do that is if all of you write. It's not just Tom and Mark write. That is, and we're good buddies. But J um, Joy is my daughter's best buddy, who's Deborah's. Deborah and my kids have grown up together in the same age. Both our daughters write. We're going to do with you um, instantteenagemoney.com. Do you th and, and why did I bring that up now? Not to brag about us, but is that going to be viral to the max? Because kids, do they use the Internet more or do teens use the Internet more? The, uh, who? Uh, the teens by far, absolutely. Yeah, So and you'll do that with us. Absolutely. I'll be glad to. What, what I'm saying is and a lot of you are going to have him as your coach, and I'm not trying to solicit Tom for you. But well, I wish you would. Yes, yeah, solicit <laughs> The point is that some of you are sitting there, sitting on a lot of ideas. I had my staff go because I was out of the country, and I couldn't go to his, his one day. Otherwise, I would have been there sitting in front of her. They came back, and they were exuding, and I just didn't get the numbers right, and I apologized to them profusely for that. But it didn't matter because I got the idea, and I wrote down 20 titles, called them, and said, we're going to do these. And he said, yeah. And, and do you see how easy this is? Because some, some of you, the few of you that have bitched, uh, just so you're clear, that I got all your messages. I didn't get an agent here. Do they need an agent? I never. I wouldn't go for an agent if you held a gun to my head. I mean, I'll have. I'll be richer than the agent in uh, six months because I'll have 40 more ebooks out. All right. So it's it's a good way to go, and I'm not knocking that. But I can't. I don't have the patience for that. I want the money now before I'm too fat to spend it, and uh, I'm going to go <laughs> work work out and get my health in line at this new house. But it's what you can just make your own ticket, is what I'm saying, and very very inexpensive. 
And yeah, and, and Jennifer Basie Sanders has said, you know, she wants to talk to every one of you. She's representing, you know, Prima and Crown and Random House. I don't know how you could say that I haven't brought you agents. There's ten of them in here. I said, use your intuition. But now I'm saying, where are they? They said they wouldn't talk to you. You've got to find them because you've got to use your brain. Why do we do that? We do it for a different reason so you're on good behavior because some people, some of you are not nice to the agents, which you're going to hear in a little while. Some of you go, you've got to make me money. No, no, no one, none of the people serving you have to do anything for you. What we're saying is you can do it yourself, and this is Mr. Do-It-Yourself par excellence. Give him a standing ovation. Anyway. Oh, gee, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that's... Uh, it's bringing a tear to my eye, I'm telling you. It really is. Thank you. Well, before I finish up here, I want to tell you a couple of things. One is I'm going to get on my hands and knees and beg you. Uh, except, you know, it's too far down there. Uh, uh, I'm going to ask you to go to antheon.com, and on the right-hand side of the page, there's a little tiny link that says Back Issues. Little tiny link that says back issues and go to like either this year or last year or last year, probably around the July 2nd issue. And you will see uh, the memorial issue to my dad. Has anybody read this thing ever? Have you read it? Thank you. I, I got massive, massive response from around the world. This was a eulogy I wrote for my dad with no thought of, and no. Um, it just came right out. And it was the 10 leadership skills I learned from a man that came over from uh, on a dung-filled cattle boat. That's the name of this thing. So I beg you to, to take a look at that, and you'll see what I'm made of. In fact, I wouldn't be sitting here today if it wasn't for just one of the leadership principles. And if, can I, Would you indulge me to let you just tell you one of them? When I was 16 years old, I was laying on the, the, the floor of my living room watching What's My Line. Many of you remember that. Many of you don't. All right? When I heard what sounded to be the sound of an airplane crashing, and a moment later, boom, my whole living room explodes around me. It knocks the plaster off. It blows out the front window, blows off the front door. Plaster and lamps and stuff are flying at me. I pick myself and wipe myself off. I ran out, and I saw there's a car sticking in the side of my house. And there's a guy laying on the ground screaming with a broken ankle, but he's lucid and okay. He says, get my buddy. I look in the car in the passenger side. There's a man slumped over, blood everywhere, and his scalp is peeled back. All right. Now, I'm 16 years old. I had just gone to um, first aid class at high school. So I'm like, whew, breathing, bleeding, broken, broken blood. I'm trying to think, all right, what am I supposed to do here? And so, okay, bleeding. All right, direct pressure, indirect pressure. So I settled on indirect pressure. Now, I went in, opened this car door, and I grabbed this guy around the neck and started squeezing really hard. All right? <laughs> and you might notice that this may have adverse side effects. All right? And my brother comes out and says, don't kill him. He didn't mean to hit the house. You know? <laughs> so, so anyway, there's more blood than, than anything, and those guys end up all right. But the police said the car was going at approximately 100 miles an hour when it hit the corner of my house. Now, my dad, who came from Syria with a second grade education and uh, ended up reading the encyclopedia after he uh, retired back in the 70s, so brilliant man, uh, always used to tell me when I was a kid, he said, Tom, you must build things strong, whatever it is, build it strong, because if ever an extraordinary force is applied, your work will be standing and others won't. Well, my dad, back in those days, didn't have much money, so he went around scrounging the old 4x4, four four, full 4x4 four four oak crossbars off of the telephone poles and put three of them in the corner of the, our house and built, uh, grew bushes there. And I asked him, when I'm a, I remember as a little kid asking him, well, Dad, why are you doing that? He said, because we're on a, on a um, road, honey, and if, if a car ever comes off, I want to protect my family. All right. So, <clears throat> if it wasn't for this leadership principles, I wouldn't be here talking to you today. Right? I'd be dead. So, build it strong. That's just one of the things that you'll learn from my dad. Uh, thank you. Thank you.
Well, I'm hoping you're getting uh, something out of this. You know that you can really make this happen. And a couple of things I want to tell you about is, uh, and if you know what this is, I don't want you to uh, yell it out. But if we can get a close-up on this from the video guy. Oh, it's blue? Oh, let's get a different one then. We'll get a white one. We didn't rehearse this. <laughs> don't, don't yell it out if you know what Does anybody know what this is? What is it, man? It's a sock sorter. I'll tell you what. It's a sock sorter. You put one sock in one side, one sock in the other side, and it's great. You know, because I travel a lot. I'm not married. I have no one to assist me with laundry duties. I buy socks. I bought 12 pairs of socks in the last week because I'm on the, on the road and I can't keep track of them. And um, now don't put pantyhose in this thing because it's not doesn't work good like that. But um, this millicent piece of plastic changed my life. It really did because I'm in sock therapy. I mean, I can't. I mean, it's just crazy to do this thing. And uh, the reason I tell you this is because if you, you know, you're going to get bombarded with all kinds of ahas and you want to be able to write them all down. But if you just take one of them and do something with it, it can make a big difference in your life. All right? Just one little change. And we are selling packets of these at the back of the room. All right? <laughs> 1995. Good deal. You can find them on the Internet. Uh, okay. Let me tell you about uh, some ways I can help you in the future. Anybody interested in my help in the future, possibly? Okay, a couple deals we got going for you here. My lovely assistant Lori will be out at the table uh, later. That's on right on the way to the uh, to the lunchroom. And this whole packet, I won't go into the details of it. Uh, I sold hundreds and hundreds of these. Helped literally hundreds of small business people with this. It's about 40 hours worth of training on uh, one-page websites, copywriting, which we didn't even talk about today. But you can do everything I told you today, right? And if you can't get the words on the page that get people to pull their wallet out, you're in trouble. So this teaches you the whole schmear. It teaches you telephone seminars, which is, the, oh, my God, it makes so much money sitting there with my feet up. Around, and I've had as many as 600 people in 18 countries one time on the line. All right. That's reach. That's massive distribution. So this whole kit is normally about 670 bucks. So I want you to make that 1200. OK. Well, you know, all the other people discounts got to balance out somewhere, right? You know, they always take the price down at seminars. No. <laughs> Make it two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. You have an order form in there, and Lori has. Uh, we have a limited number. I, I'm not sure how many we have. Now, if anybody would like to get this free, okay. If you'd like to get this free, it's included if you get the mentor program while you're here. All right. Which uh, is my help for six months or a year. And I can tell you that I will. Where's Marilyn Snyder? Is she in here? Now, Marilyn, I know you're crazy, but she's been running around here saying some really nice things. And you said something the other night uh, that I was really, uh, I'd love you for. Get on the microphone. Yeah. Um, oh, you can hear me. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I said, I, I have bought a lot of stuff over the years. You know, you buy this and you do this and all that. And I've never, ever met anyone that gives you more value for less money than Tom. It's like if you asked for help in one thing, you'd get help in ten things. And, he, and the cost would be half if you went somewhere else and got a lot of fluff. So when you buy one of his products, and I'm not just saying that to whatever, if you buy one of his products, you get so much information you don't know how to absorb it. And so the big thing that I like about the mentor program is that he helps you absorb it. Because there's so much that could overwhelm you. So you, you, you can, nobody in here could say they could walk away with nothing if they got one little thing from him. It'd be tremendous. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, now I need to borrow a chair off of somebody. Mine seemed to get away here. We have an extra chair. Yeah, great, Lori. So I'm going to finish up here and tell you why I'm just so excited about this Internet marketing. See, I've, I've done over 2,100 paid speaking engagements in I don't know how many countries, not as many as more. But it's hard being on the road. When you go out on one of these trips, I mean, it'll beat you to death, all right? So I like sitting at home on my rear end, all right? Now, let me give you an example of one of the trips. One time I was doing three jobs, three speaking engagements, three days in a row, three different cities at three degrees below zero, all right? So I fly from Baltimore to Lexington, Kentucky, do that job. No problem. Stay there that night, 
have to do a luncheon in Indianapolis the next day. So everything's going cool. Right before the plane lands, the guy sitting next to me spills a whole Diet Coke right in my lap. This is not good. I mean, it just soaked me. You know how it feels when you're all, you're all wet and I'm going through here. So I'm going to the baggage claim and I get my stuff and I go out to pick up the limousine and my pants freeze. <laughs> this is really not good. All right. You know, so <laughs> I'm trying, I'm going to get into the, I'm trying to run into, you know, run, but I can't really run into the, to the restroom. Who's been to Indianapolis here? All right. Do check me on this next time. There are no towel dispensers in the Indianapolis airport. So I'm using like the hand dryer. I'm trying to jump up and dry myself off. The security guard's really getting antsy about this, what I'm doing in there. So I get that job done. I go to Chicago, get that job done. And I, I'm in Chicago Midway Airport. I'm exhausted. I'm freezing to death. And I get there early and I'm sitting in the... Uh, the gate area, and there's nobody there. I'm real early, and I can't lay down because there's a you know the armrest on the chair. So I put my big overcoat on my lap, and I, I put my elbows there, and I must have fallen asleep. Because when I woke up, the whole place was full of people, including the most gorgeous vision of a woman where Allie is, right? Well, maybe that's not the best example. All right. <laughs> uh, and, and, and uh, you know, I'm single. I smile at her. And she smiles back at me. But the only, the only way I could really characterize her smile, it had somewhat of a charitable edge on it. All right. <laughs> I mean, I looked down on my overcoat, and there's a big puddle there. I had been drooling in front of this woman for the past hour, all right? So I had a big sweater on. I just soaked it up and kept on smiling, all right? So that's why I'm so thrilled about to sit home on my butt, now to be at Bed and Butt Camp in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I hope to see you there one of these days. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.